I just wanted to share a message of encouragement with you and just talk about what Jesus meant when he said that if our eye causes us to sin, to pluck it out, and if our hand causes us to sin, to cut it off, he said it would be better for us to enter into heaven with only one eye or only one hand rather than our entire body be cast into hell. And it simply boils down to the fact that we have choice. We have control over our actions. And it's up to us to choose if we're going to sin or if we're going to practice righteousness and choose life instead. And every day we're presented with this choice. And just about every single moment of my life, you know, I have the opportunity to sin. And, you know, some of my testimony and, um, and some examples of where I've cut my hand off, plucked my eye out, would be, you know, when Jesus convicted me of working out for vanity, um, he also convicted me just not to go to the gym at all because it was such a lust-filled environment. And if I went, I would be, um, I would, I would be letting my eye lead me to sin. So I cut that off. I didn't go to the gym anymore because I didn't want my eye to cause me to sin. And if I'm driving down the road, I choose to look away from someone who's immodestly dressed so my eye doesn't cause me to sin. You know, there's been several situations in my life. We stopped hanging out with people that uh, used to just love to drink and smoke weed and hang out and just party because there was no fellowship there. There was nothing fruitful and it would only cause us to sin. We cut it off. You know, we have to stop going places. We have to stop doing things. We have to stop watching things that lead to sin. And I was just speaking with someone yesterday in person um, about my testimony and how, you know, to overcome, I had to get even the smallest little things out of my life because I would continue to fall time and time again. And I realized it started with just the smallest little glimpse, it would eventually turn into a fire, you know? It's important that whatever it is that's causing you to sin, if it's getting on the uh, Facebook or, um, you know, any other social medias like Instagram or Snapchat or TikTok, man, I've cut all of those things out of my life as far as uh, the Instagram or the TikTok or the Snapchat. I had never had a Snapchat. Um, I have a Facebook and I serve the Lord. I have a YouTube and I serve the Lord. But even on those mediums, I have to be disciplined. You know, it's easy for me to go and sin on any of those platforms. We got rid of our TV, of course. Television and the programs are just wicked. We don't go to the movies, we don't listen to the radio, because it's all of Satan. And by doing that, we've gotten that sin out of our life, and we've been able to hear the voice of Jesus more clearly. And the point is, you know, we are truly cutting off our hands and gouging out our eyes. Not physically, but spiritually. So I just want to encourage you just to get the temptation out of your life and start choosing righteousness rather than choosing sin because it's the only way to heaven. No one who's continuing to willfully sin will enter into the kingdom. May Jesus bless you.